Yeah. It's not a jam, it's called tar Targum. And under a fal, just like on the KF-21 in, J in Korea, just like on the, the Gripen NG, just like on uh, the M346, in Leonardo you have the target. The Jehemit itself is on the on the uh, F35, on the uh, F66, 16, 15, 18. The F35 has a separate helmet. Okay, it's also. By the way, I have to point out that both the Rafal, manufactured by by the so, mm -hmm. and the Jehemit on the F16. Manufactured by Lucky on the F15 and 18, manufactured by Boeing, were chosen by the OEM. I mean, the OEM was convinced, by the way, the Saab also, with KI also. The OEM was convinced that this is the right helmet for their, for their aircraft. You have thousands of these around the market. The AGTS is the most common helicopter helmet. Okay? The idea is very simple. You Display the information on your eyepiece, okay? All the symbology is in your uh, is on your eye, just like you have here, okay? And therefore, you you fly with what we what we call eyes out, heads out. You're looking forward all the time. Very important because now anything that you do with your head, if you're looking right, you still have the symbology. And if you're looking right and, and you want to see in a helicopter the, the, the picture of your electro-optical payload, the electro-optical payload moves, moves with you. And if you want to shoot a weapon, the weapon goes according to your way of looking, to your sight. Okay? Also here, most of the sales are done with the OEM. The OEMs believe in LD. Okay? So right now, what are the helicopters that are operational with uh, Chinook. Blackhawks, NH-19, uh, Leonardo helmets, uh, you have also Eastern helmets where we're working in countries that bought Eastern <laughs> helmets in the past or Eastern aircraft in the past and wanted to upgrade their capabilities. We're talking about thousands, you have around more than 7,000 helmets of this worldwide. Going to the Apache. Apache is, is, is a little bit different because the Apache requires a helmet in order to fly. Okay, you cannot fly an Apache without having a helmet on. So it's a different helmet, it's not HGTS, it's called IHATS. Okay? Same configuration with the monocular uh, vision? Or yes. The only thing is that now what we're going to do here in, in Greece for the, uh, for the Alpha model. And by the way, on the Delta model you also have IHATS. Okay? You have to have. On the Delta model you already have IHATS. What we're going to do here is we're going to upgrade the helmet to a newer version. We're going to upgrade the uh, TADS PMVS uh, uh, electro optical system. We're going to add a screen uh, to display the video inside the cockpit, which this screen in the future will be able to serve for other purposes also. Okay. And uh, the new helmet is of a higher analysis, so it's, it can present more details than what you can present now with uh, on uh, the electro-optical system. It can provide higher resolution, mm -hmm. better details, and it changes part of the uh, system that were once analog and today digital. So you don't need to change the two screens that are already in the... But we are, I cannot go too much into detail on this, but we're replacing one unit and putting in a screen in order for you to see the video from the TADS on that, or the TADS PMVS, and in the future you'll be able to do other things on that also. For example, if you put in command and control systems. Same screen is going to be utilized by the Spike mission? Yes. The Spike video can be projected onto video that screen. On that screen. Yes. Same video can be projected to the reticle, or it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. Now we understand what is the cycle of the. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm very open. You no, know, and that's why we are specific questions because there are some misconceptions about why we change the one screen or put one screen. With, uh, what is the connection between them? Now we are, I think we are clear.